Hi friends, welcome to Java Express channel. Today we are going to discuss how to configure a Lombok in Eclipse or any IDE. Okay, nowadays the project Lombok is very important as part of the development. We are writing lot of boilerplate code as part of our Pojo classes. How to set up? In this session, I'm going to explain in Windows environment. Not only in Windows environment, you can set up in even Mac also, no problem. Okay, so first of all, what is a project Lombok? Well, first we'll try to understand the problem statement, then how to set up, then I can explain you in IDE. Okay, in project Lombok is a Java library tool, basically. It's a Java library tool, which is used to remove the boilerplate code. What is saying? Removing the boilerplate code and save the precious time of the developers. It is for specific for the developers, you no need to uh, write the boilerplate code. What does it mean? Which type of boilerplate code I can say? Assume that when you create a POJO class, maybe employee, either student, either product, anything, okay? You are writing, uh, you are generating setter methods, uh, getter methods, okay? And we can generate the two string method, arguments, uh, constructor arguments, everything we are generating as a programmer. Okay, to overcome, instead of writing the whole code, we can integrate the Lombok. Okay, and in our IDEs, we are, even in the IDE, we can generate also. Even we can reduce, even developers also, no need to write that much code. Okay, that is all about the Lombok. Okay, you no need to write even one type of line also, you no need to write like setter method, getter methods. And even in the next slide, I have what are the things we can uh, uh, overcome uh, instead of writing the boilerplate code, we can use this Lombok also, okay? And without Lombok, how the class will be look like is, I'm taking an example as an ex employee. Employee has a two fields here. What, what are the two fields I have? I have a name and I have an address. If you want to set some value, then you need to use the set name and set address. This is a typically as a POJO class, okay? With Lombok, if I integrate the Lombok, what will happen, you know? Just you need to utilize these annotations. Just at the rate setter, if you use this one, it will generate a setter method. It will generate a getter method. If you need no argument constructor, two string method, equals and hash code, you no need to write even one line of code. Just you need to utilize these annotations in your POJO classes. So that lines of code will be a reduce in your project, okay? Instead of writing, if you need these all annotations, just simply you can use at the rate data. This is the combination of these all annotations. This is the combination of these all annotations. If you use at the rate data, it will include all the things. If you need only the setter, then you can use at the rate setter also. No problem at all, okay? Next, then how to, we'll create a Maven project. You can create a Spring Boot project. Any project is fine. Just I will create a Maven project. Just you need to add this dependency. If you add this dependency, okay, and uh, the problem will be solved. Before doing that part, first you need to download your Lombok jar file from the website. You need to install in your IDE. How we can uh, do those steps, I will show you now, okay? Just uh, open your Google Chrome. Okay, inside the Google Chrome, what you need to do, just uh, uh, you can type as a Lombok jar download, that's it. Here, go to, it will nav just navigate to the website. Here, the latest version is 1.18.8.18. Just download this jar file and keep it. Okay, uh, go there. Just I'm where it is downloaded, I'm going to that, web, uh, that folder. Yeah, jar file is downloaded. Go here, this is the jar file I downloaded now. Here, go for here, command prompt, CMD, you can type it here. Otherwise, see, if you type it here, CMD, it will go to this path. Where is this path? Dell downloads. Here, just you need to run your jar file, Java hyphen jar, just I'm using Lombok one, okay? Before running this one, what you need to do, just you need to close your IDE. Just you need to completely uh, close your IDE setup. Why? Because now try to see. Enter. When you do the immediately, okay, it will open one pop up for you. See, you are able to see. 
what it is saying cannot find ide in your project in your computer it is saying ide is not found what you can do uh, here you can specify your location specify the location just to provide where is your eclipse or sts whatever it is there in your system just go and uh, check that one now i'm going for the softwares this is my sts and here this is my here you need to choose this is the path sts 4.9.0 dot release i am using this sts version click select okay and here what you need to do just install or update when you click here install is successful okay then just click the quick quit installer job is complete the first step is completed in your windows system now what you need to just if you are already using just a file go and restart your uh, your workspace then it will be reflect your jar file in your project where it is there i will show you for your clear understanding what i can go for here uh, where is my software this is the sts sts for are able to see here lombok jar file is available here this is the lombok jar file already i have a lombok jar one i use yes, this is the jar file go for here there is a config file will be there just let me open open with notepad plus plus yeah able to see here it will be add this is the path automatically when you do the installation is it clear now this is the path will be available to cross check whether your lombok is done or not but this path will be add automatically no problem that one. that is your first step now your id is ready now what i am doing go to their file new what i can do click a maven project and click a maven project here if you don't know just type here maven project maven project click next here i am choosing simple project skip archetype selection just enable here go for next here you can choose your group id and artifact id what i am doing i am giving com dot java express what i can do lombok integration i am giving this is the project name i am giving this is the project name lombok hyphen integration finish okay uh, within couple of one, one or two minutes uh, yeah its project is ready see lombok integration now second step what you need to do go for pom dot xml here you need to add your dependencies just how you can add you can use the dependencies yeah this is the dependencies inside the dependencies you need to add one more dependency like group id and artifact id you need to provide how you can get it go to the website go there and here somewhere it will be there uh see a uh, lombok maven dependency type here go there here and you can choose this is the version right yes just copy here this this one and paste it here now oh, even in the ppt we given right see org dot project lombok just same as it is i'm using here just dependency that's it now just to save the file it will be download the jar file in your local now if you want to verify click maven dependency see lombok dot jar file is downloaded now to verify what you can do right click let me create a simple class uh, here what i can do com dot java express this is my package here i will create one model class see new i can say employee finish Okay. Inside this employee, what I'm doing, I'm creating two fields. What I'm doing, private string first name. Just I'm using the private first string name and private string last name. I'm providing two names here. Okay. Now go there. We'll see the setter methods are available or not. What you can do, go for class. I'm creating one test class here to verify whether really my setter methods are available or not. Here I will verify it here. Okay, and here I'm creating one employee object. Employee emp equal to new employee. You can create as a normal uh, how you will create an object. That way you will create an object. This is your employee. Now try to see if I want to set the value employee dot set. 
see you are not able to see setter method is not available previously how you need to generate the setter and getter method here what you can do go to their source generate setter and getter methods select all generate it here okay now this is the old way of writing this is the generation what i am doing here here i am using set first name you can use your first name some i am giving as a java and emp dot set last name here i am giving as a express okay your employee object is a no problem this is the old way of writing programming so once you got the lombok what i am doing just removing here okay here you can write your annotation at the rate yes control space you will get setter here you will get as a setter method and if you need you will get the getter see just save the file that's it now if you see here there is no problem at all now if you want you can print it now i'm printing my employee object emp try to see run as java application what you are getting you are getting as a object it is printed now you need two string method then what you need to do at the rate two string method see two string method is available now again you can run your application try to see right click run as java application is it printed first name and last name okay and all annotations here available at the rate all argument constructor instead of writing you can write at the rate data this is the combination of all the annotations now see data need to be imported here then you no need to write remaining all the things see it is generating new employee why it is generating it is saying forcefully saying hey this is a constructor argument why because constructor is also verified whenever you need then you can use at the rate data okay is it clear now this is the one you need to integrate the lombok in your project now here also i am removing all argument constructor now then no issues at all see this is the file so in this way you need to integrate the lombok in our maven project okay we'll see you some more examples in the next couple of sessions okay thank you guys we'll see you in the next session